you may not control all that happens to you in life. However, you can choose not to be reduced by them. Welcome, fair townspeople, to Iron Mind Metal Monday, the brutal learning as of late, entitled Be Not Reduced. This is probably one of the most difficult vlogs or messages that I have ever recorded. And the reason being, uh, romantically or just heart-wise, I have gone through a very, very difficult situation this week. I say that, but in embodying the spirit of what this message is about, I am looking to see the beauty in this and take away some incredible lessons as to how I can grow, how I can flourish, and actually how I can honor the other person as I move through this situation. If you have not done so already, please uh, give this comment a like, subscribe to the Iron Metal Monday email in the description below, and without further ado, let's delve into it, shall we? pieces of advice I have learned or one of the greatest pieces of wisdom I have garnered from my reading as of late has been from a book called The Algebra of Happiness, Scott Galloway. He has an incredible YouTube video that breaks down the main concepts in the book. However, one of the concepts that was not included in that video is one of the key determinants of success and that is the ability to mourn and move on to mourn and grieve that which is very dear to our heart and to be able to move through that in a beautiful and an honoring in a wise fashion and to be able to move on. Most people, when they go through something difficult, unfortunately, just because of the way our society is and our culture, there's so much going on in life that you almost have to cast everything inside just to keep things together and, and to move on. We don't really have that classic village mentality when somebody's mourning something, everyone gathers around them and allows them the time and the space to really delve into those deep emotions that can be very, very painful and allow to, them to, to process those in a very healthy way so that they can grow as a human being. And one of the greatest blessings of going through a form of heartbreak or a form of mourning is that it really forces you to look at all the darkness, all of the pain that has maybe been stemming up inside of you and it really breaks down any walls you might have. It allows you to delve further into yourself and to look at where you maybe need to pick up the pieces and to forge a greater personality moving forward. It also gives you the choice. It gives you the choice to look at things that you could perceive as negative, or it gives you the choice to create a new meaning and to recreate a new story and to look and reframe that story as something that is beautiful, as something that is honoring. So this, this experience that I've gone through in the last week, really my, my meaning that I'm taking away from it was uh, the experiences that were shared were incredible. Um, this is an amazing human being and, and really the reason why I'm so hurting is because of uh, my own attachment and my ability to open up and be vulnerable and to put myself into something really intensely and to be very transparent. I went into this situation very well knowing that there was the potential for me to come away hurt and I took on that responsibility knowing that I have the tools to deal with it. That is very much what Iron Mind, what Forge a Modern Renaissance Mind is about is to create that mind that is creative, resilient, and therefore adaptable. So this has been an incredible opportunity to reach out to those in my support network, those who care for me deeply, to cultivate those relationships even stronger, uh, to look within myself and see where I need to grow and mature as a man and a human being. And it even took out some, some, some things that I, I didn't know or something that, that I kind of had a calling on my life. Uh, I didn't realize how much I, I desired to be a provider as a man. And that really comes down to producing. 
So it's kind of given me more energy to know that I need to produce more content. I need to move myself forward so that I can actually step into my purpose and my calling. It, it allowed me to step into the fear of not investing in myself. So something that is really awesome that I'll share with you is that I'm buying a new MacBook Pro today. It's going to be able to take my content to creation to the next level. And I think something really beautiful that, that also came out of this is just being open and being understanding and being compassionate and really being able to garner multiple perspectives and to be discerning as to the, the situations that we go through. So for anyone who's maybe going through something really difficult right now, for anyone who's going to go through something difficult in the future and for anybody who will mourn, which at some point in life is going to be all of us, I just want to share with you, uh, be not reduced. These hardships, these hurtful situations are going to shake us to our core, but it is a choice whether to stay there or to engage with that adversity, to engage with that pain. And a big part of that is just having the courage to reach out for help, to build a support network, to look for different resources. And to have that courage is one of the most amazing things you can possibly do in life. I think courage is probably one of the best virtues. Truth is another one, but in order to tell the truth to somebody or to look for the truth in any situation, you first have to have the courage to do it. So that's the message for this week. Be not reduced. Uh, struggle through beauty, ardua probellus, adversity through beauty. To all those in the Global Mind, Mind Village who invest their time to watch each week, Thank you with a depth of gratitude drawn from the well of my heart. Uh, your input and collaboration is of absolute imperative to further the envisage of I am mind. If you could like, comment, share, and subscribe to AP is the almighty algorithm of gods, I would be very, very delighted. And until next week, my friends, bless up and ardua prego.